Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Co. And in today's video, I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree and budget for decor crafts. So I am back after breaking my ankle, trying to put out some new content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for the love and support on my last two videos as I'm getting back on my feet and getting back into the swing of things. Listen, I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And I truly believe that you don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now listen, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your coater and paint, and let's get to craft. For this Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to recreate a Pottery Barn tray. I found this tray on the Pottery Barn website for $59, and I knew we could recreate it using Dollar Tree supplies. So I grabbed this $3 wooden tray from the Dollar Tree Plus section, and I'm using this antique white Waverly chalk paint. I'm using one of the Dollar Tree sponge brushes, and I'm just going to sponge brush um, two layers of the chalk paint onto the base and the interior part of the this wooden tray. Now the wooden tray does take quite a bit of paint so kind of be ready for that and um, you are going to want to give it a little bit of dry time as well. I did paint the interior part of the handle with the cream color and um, you also might want to use a little bit darker of a black to completely recreate this. Now I'm just using what I had on hand which was some chalked paint and again it does the wood does kind of absorb quite a bit and then if you're going to be using this for more than decorative where maybe you're going to put um, glasses on it um, that have condensation or whatnot you're probably going to want to seal it off i recommend the waterproof mod podge you can get it at michael's or hobby lobby and it comes in the blue bottle so i did end up adding two coats of the chalked paint um, to kind of recreate this and i feel like 59 dollars versus $3 plus your paint cost is not a bad deal. Um, I really suggest when you guys want to recreate high-end DIYs using Dollar Tree supplies, go on those websites. I love cruising Pottery Barn, William Sonoma, Mackenzie Child, some of those really nice high-end websites and looking and studying the pieces and thinking, wow, how can we do this on a total budget? So I hope you guys are loving this and are inspired. Um, and I will say that I'm probably going to go back in and do one more um, cover of the black paint. I needed to have left the white paint dry completely, but here is the finished product. I think it came out so fun and fabulous and honestly so budget friendly and it gives you that high end clean look. This is a great dupe and also great neutral colors with the black and the white for upcoming summer decor. Fun and fabulous on a total budget. I hope you guys are inspired and loving it. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to create something that's somewhat Kirkland's inspired. So I'm going to take one of these long Dollar Tree wooden panels. These are in the Dollar 25 section, and then also these cute little Dollar Tree houses. They came as is. I thought they were so adorable. I guess this is what Dollar Tree Crafter Square section is calling kind of the farmhouse style. So what I'm doing is I'm just very gently hot gluing them to the front of this long wooden panel board. Now, if you cannot find the wooden panel board, you also might want to look for one of those longer Dollar Tree signs. You can flip it over and paint it very easily. My idea is to make like a cute little welcome sign with these houses. And actually what I had wanted to do was put clips at the top to put, to put my kiddos pictures on, but I couldn't find any clips. So I'm definitely gonna have to make a small little list for when I go back to Dollar Tree next. Now I already had out some white Waverly chalk paint. So I decided to go ahead and chalk paint the top part of the ha these houses.
The next thing I decided to add to this little DIY was some of these Dollar Tree pretty greenery vine pieces. I'm just taking and gently hot gluing them in and around the little houses. And I just thought this would be fun to jazz it up and kind of give it a little bit of a springtime feel. This was just one of those garlands my sweet friend Stacy had sent me. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue those in and around the top part of these houses. And the next thing I wanted to do was add a little bit of a galvanized lettering. I had this welcome sign that also Stacy had sent me. Thank you so much, sweet friend. My goodness, it's great to have supplies on hand. So I'm just gently hot gluing that to the top part of the houses. And then I decided to tie some little bows and add those to the top of the houses. Now, this craft in this video is a little bit more crafty, like something you would see at Hobby Lobby or, um, you know, Kirkland's or whatnot, or maybe in a little boutique store. I'm going to show you some more kind of high-end dupes, but I thought this turned out so darn stinking cute. And you guys could do so many different things with it. I think it would be so so cute to have some kids pictures on here as well or just make it like a little welcome sign this is also great i'm going to be trying to show you guys a lot more neutral colors as we approach the summer season For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you guys how you can make a dupe of the rattan vases that are featured on the Pottery Barn website for between $20 and $50. So we're going to take a Dollar Tree placemat, and this is one of the woven placemats. If you guys have an old basket, though, you can definitely take that apart. This was as close to as an old bat or like a basket weave as I had. So I'm just trimming it down, and I want to wrap it around the um, side of the vase. I hot glued it to the vase and then here is a second piece that I'm hot gluing on here I also wanted to make sure that I measured to where the candle was sticking up above where the rattan faux basket weave was gonna be now listen this is not quite the pottery barn um exact but hey we're duping this on next to nothing so a dollar 25 for the vase and then a um, dollar 25 for the placemat I decided to do it on another one and this is just like a little bit of a shorter Dollar Tree glass vase so again I'm taking that placemat and cutting it apart it really seems like Pottery Barn right now this season for 2023 is featuring a lot of bamboo basket weave just really natural fibers which they kind of do anyway but i really noticed that on the website today as i was back on there i'm so happy you guys to be back in the swing of things um literally i have been down on my ankle for three months on crutches i it did get one of those little knee scooters um and that really was a game changer for me i was able to cook dinner um and get some housework done but I've really been trying to let it heal up. I am still in my cam walking boot. So I have this giant boot on my foot, but I don't need crutches anymore. So I'm hoping at my next orthopedic appointment, they will let me out of this. And that is going to be on April 11th. So say a little prayer. Okay, so here is how they turned out. I'm gonna add in some little Dollar Tree stones to the base. You guys could add in sand, just whatever suits your fa fancy. In fact, I would suggest <laughs> actually using sand because the stones were a little bit hard for um the candles to set up in well but hey like i said in my last video i'm still kind of trying to get back into the swing of things and gather the correct amount of supplies i don't even know what i have in my craft stash so anyway here is how it turned out pottery barn dupe you know 25 to 50 dollars for these bamboo type vases and we did it for a couple of bucks i i think it's pretty styling and profiling those candles are flickering flameless candles on amazon i highly recommend them i think i have some linked in my amazon store below if you guys want to check that out but they're so great and safe for pets and children you don't want um, real flames around them but they have the same look as a real flame and they come on a remote control timer which is also seriously really cool For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can make a super easy little Dollar Tree 
kind of fancy boutique bow on a total budget, grab some of this Dollar Tree wired ribbon and cut it. This is about 12 inches and this is gonna be a super easy bow, no tools required. And I'm gonna add another 12 inch cut and that's gonna be for our tails. So I have this cute little lilac wreath off to the side we're gonna add it to, but you're gonna take this bow and you're going to, or the ribbon, and you're just going to hot glue the ribbon end to end. And that's gonna give you one cute little loop. The next thing we're gonna do is do the same thing on the other one, and that's gonna give you your big fluffy double layers. Okay, so once you have that done, you're gonna take and you're just going to kind of rush or zhuzh your little ribbon here together, do it on the other side, and you can just take and stack those together. I like to use a zip tie. You guys can use rope or um, twine or whatnot, but zip ties, they get the job done baby and they really are very secure and you can buy them in big giant pack at your hardware store or at your dollar tree so i'm gonna give my little cute bow a nice little fluffing here and i'm gonna trim off the back of that plastic on the zip tie and then i'm gonna add it to the base of this cute little wreath i found this wreath it's a darling little lilac wreath great for spring goes into summer it's it was in our dar dollar plus section of our dollar tree and it was five dollars which i think it's a pretty good deal for the amount of um you know greenery and lilac that's on it okay i'm taking another piece of ribbon and i'm just going to tie my little easy bow on here and then i'm going to add my tails on to that so give it a nice good double loop knot here and this is literally the easiest bow no tools required and you guys can use any ribbon i always suggest to use wired ribbon it's going to make your best bow and i'm so sorry benji bear is my puppy dog is scratching on the carpet in the background okay so i did also dub tail my ends so you can see what I'm doing I'm just cutting a triangle in an upward direction on the ends of my ribbon please do that for your ribbon or cut like a little slide on it it really is going to finish your project out so nicely and make it look really professional now Dollar Tree is also carrying these cute little um, string beads they're already strung together I'm loving it I added that to the top of my wreath to kind of give it a little bit of a farmhouse flare appearance let me know what you guys think about this i popped it in to my little studio area here and i think it gives it just such a nice pot for spring i think it'd be great for an entryway um you can do a different colored bow the bow got a little large <laughs> for this wreath but hey if you guys know me or if you're new here i love big bows and i cannot lie my name is olivia and I love big bows. <laughs> so you can make it any size you want with any ribbon you want, whatever suits your fancy and floats your boat. But I hope y'all are loving this and are inspired to make a fun bow. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna show you guys how to dupe these Pottery Barn kind of tall candlesticks. And it's not gonna be quite an exact dupe, but hey, we're gonna do this using Dollar Tree supplies. So I grabbed a Dollar Tree vase and this little plastic plate. I hot glued them to the top of the um, vases. And then I'm just gonna take some of this white Waverly chalk paint and chalk paint a couple of layers on to the base. So I recommend to flip it upside down. I also recommend to use a bonding glue like E6000 or hot glue. Now, funny story with this, um, you guys can't see it, but I have, and I posted it on my Instagram, but I have a cam walking boot on right now because I broke my ankle. And um, so I took my E6000 glue and I blinged out my boot using Dollar Tree Jewels. Let me know if you guys want to see a DIY on that. Um, but it, it wasn't a great DIY because like I kind of just sat on my couch and tried to film a little bit of it. This was like months ago when I did this. Anyway, I ran myself out of E6000 glue. So long story short, I don't have any E6000 glue to do this project with, although I did order some on Amazon today. I'm trying to restock some of my crafting supplies. Now for this um, candlestick, you know, platform thing that we're creating, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit like of a stone um, look that's kind of been the look it looks like on Pottery Barn so it's it's like off-white but it, if you add a little bit of like charcoal gray or black to it you just kind of take your brush and run it through a little bit of some darker paint and then just kind of combine it together and you can kind of play with it however many layers you want to put on there but I'm also gonna do kind of the same effect over here. So I'm just adding in the off-white chalk paint and then I'm just um, dabbing my brush with a little bit of that charcoal gray. It's kind of hard to see, but 
it is going to have like some layers and you want to do that with each layer of paint so it's going to kind of give it more of like a stone faux stone effect anyway and you also want to be patient with this project because you're going to want to let it dry in between the glass is a little bit trickier to paint on um, and chalk paint though works really well, but it does take a couple of coats. I will admit that. So anyway, here is the finished project on that. Not quite exactly like the Pottery Barn website, but hey, it doesn't cost 50 to $60 for these. We duped these on a shoestring budget, honestly, and I think they look pretty cool. I think it'd be really neat to put like some sand at the top and to have a little bit wider of a candle. This is what I'm working with now, and I hope y'all are loving. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I hope you're excited that I'm back crafting. I'm going to do my best to keep up with this and also keep taking care of my foot. I will tell you, I'm going to have to probably be doing some rehab. Once I get back into a tennis shoe, I've got quite the limp going. Um, so we're just going to have to play it by ear, but I'm doing my best and I love y'all. And I'm so, so blessed to have you guys here. Thank you. And I hope you guys are inspired to craft and decorate on a budget. Now I have to share with you guys a cute little clip of Benji Bear. He is out here on this little couch I have in my studio and we have really strong winds. There's been a lot of storms down south from us and we're praying for everybody down there that's been getting the tornadoes. Thankfully we are not, <clears throat> but Benji Bear's scared there's a lot of wind. We are getting a lot of wind, but it's not anything dangerous. Um, he loves to be cuddled, so I grabbed this blanket, but he just wants to say hi to you guys, and um, it wouldn't be a video without my little trusty assistant, best bud ever. <laughs> Well, so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure it is a true blessing and honor to have you all here listen for everybody that comes back on loves and loves on me and watches my videos thank you guys so so much i hope to bring a bit of joy and fun and crafty inspiration to your day and for anybody that is new hi i am olivia with olivia's romantic home i'm a diy crafty mama i'm a one woman show i love to share my joy of crafting and decorating with you all i have been on YouTube now for this will be my fifth season and I am so thankful and blessed to share my love of home decor and crafting on a budget with you guys. I have been crafting ever since I was a little bitty girl and to share what I love and the joy of um, creating I'm telling you, it's a true blessing. Hey, listen, just a quick ankle update. I broke my ankle January 9th. I have been on crutches and in a walking boot. I am now able to put weight on my walking boot and that's how I'm up and crafting for you guys. I took a little bit of time off but kept posting. So thank you guys for everybody that keeps on watching my videos, just turning them on and pressing play. It really it means the world. Um, so thank you guys for supporting me, for all of your prayers and kind comments. And listen, I only talk about this because because sometimes I think that when you see somebody, you know, that's on a social media platform or TV, it's hard to really connect with them because you don't know what's going on in their real life. But listen, I have just as many real life struggles as you guys do. And so just on that note, I want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work. I know everybody has been through something in the last couple of years, and I just want to encourage you guys to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Give yourself grace and forgive yourself and also give others grace and forgive others. I think that has just been definitely the key to some of my flip flops that have been happening in life over the last couple of years. So anyway, I also love to encourage you all to be kind online. You are on a social media platform and there's a responsibility when you are making comments on people's videos, posts and whatnot. And I'm saying that because you have a voice. So use your voice for good. There is already enough negativity out there in this world please leave kind comments on people's posts say maybe you're on Facebook and you're scrolling and you see somebody post a picture of their dog their grandkid their home say something nice give it a heart give it a like um, you don't ever know what that person is going through and if you see something negative keep on scrolling you don't have to comment you don't want to bring negativity into your world so I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed weekend. I can't wait for our next videos. Give me grace as I continue to create new content um, a little bit at a time. And hopefully just my foot will completely heal. But, you know, it's definitely a journey. So I love y'all. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye.